excited about this this world-class athlete one of the most celebrated american soccer players she's a two-time olympic gold medalist a two-time fifa women's world cup champ her other accolades include being named fifa women's player of the year twice okay and being awarded the sb for female athlete of the year twice in 2007 she was elected to the national soccer hall of fame and this athlete continues to inspire on the field and off with her Mia Hamm Foundation. And the Soccer Hall of Famer joins us this morning live. Mia Hamm, thank you so much for yes. coming in. Thank you for having me. When you see those pictures, what goes through your head? <laughs> um, man, it's been a long time. <laughs> <laughs> That's what the first thing is, is I wish I could go back. I love that. Oh my yeah. gosh. I am, first off, I'm like in awe of you because I'm a huge fan of you uh, and a huge fan of the sport. And I feel like the sport has always been in the forefront, but it's really getting attention right now because of Lionel Messi. Yeah. Um, so are you a fan? Have you been kind of following the yes. whole thing? Yes. I met uh, Leo at a FIFA event. I used to do stuff with Barcelona. So I've watched him when he was very young and just, I mean, what's crazy is he's only about like 5'7". Yeah and he just dominates. He yeah. is so exciting to watch. Yeah, he really is. And the ticket prices are through the roof now. I feel like it's like becoming this, the place to be. Yeah. We just saw that in Harris, New Jersey, at the Red Bull Arena sold and, out. Yeah, and they were Times Square. Yeah. Game was on. I mean, he is, he's getting people excited about right. the game again here in the U.S. Right. What do you make of Messi coming here to the U.S. instead of going to Saudi Arabia or staying in Europe? You know, I love it. I, th I think he saw an opportunity. You know, I've read that they had this in the works for like three plus years. And I think, you know, I understand he's had a house in Miami for a long time. And for him, it was about continuing to play the game he loves and mm -hmm. be there for his family. So I think it just all fit. Uh, Mia, I want to talk about the U.S. women's uh, team obviously on the international stage, right? But they fell short this year at, yeah. the, at the World Cup, um, and they lost some of their, their star players. So some are wondering how the team's going to move forward without them. What's your take? Well, I, I think if you talk to their players, uh, to the players, they wish um, they had done better. Yeah. But at the same time, there's so many exciting young players that gained uh, invaluable experience mm -hmm. during this World Cup. And, you know, they have the Olympics. They have to qualify for yeah. the Olympics next year. And these players have so much pride that uh, they're going to rededicate themselves. And I think we'll see a different team uh, come Paris next summer. Okay. So what do you say to those eight players who made their debut at the World Cup? Like, how do you tell them after a loss like this, getting the national attention? I, I think all you can do is, is focus on the next game and the next opportunity. And uh, they've done incredibly well in their leagues. And I think using what happened this past summer to make them better. Mm -hmm. uh, that's where you see kind of the experience start to really make an impact. Yeah. And, you know, like I said, I'm excited about this. They, they gained invaluable experience through this. Yeah. And I feel like it was such a good game and it came down to this penalty shoot kick yeah. out and it was like, that, that's just a, a wild card because you never know how it's gonna go with a, with a shootout. It's so frustrating. Yeah. A lot of the times the team that dominates doesn't win in PKs because you're just so frustrated that yeah. you should have taken care of business during those 90 minutes and then, or 120. Yeah. And then the team that held on for dear life and didn't create as many chances, it's, yeah. they, yeah. have, they have a shot. Mia, yeah, I could talk to you about soccer uh, all day long, but I, I wanna talk about something else that's really important yeah. to you because your mom coach, founder of the Mia Hamm Foundation, which really supports bone marrow transplant. You lost your brother Garrett mm -hmm. um, due to uh, difficulties with the transplant, right? So talk about the importance of the organization and what you're looking to do here. Yeah, no, and, and for me, I've been able to um, really be an advocate for the bone marrow transplant community. And this campaign is making people aware of graft versus host disease, which is a serious complication after a bone marrow transplant mm -hmm. to really get them to understand and educate themselves before they go in pre-transplant just to look for anything that's off post-transplant mm -hmm. uh, so they they're communicating with their healthcare team uh, because the sooner they know about these symptoms the better that they can act yeah. and um, I'm just so grateful to be a part of this campaign but also the work we're doing and helping families like mine um, you know, tackle some insurmountable odds yeah. at times. Yeah. What an example for your kids, too. You and your husband are both yeah. athletes. You've had this foundation to make a difference. So how does your athleticism from you and your husband sort of play a role in your parenting? Well, I think, first of all, just 
getting our kids to understand the importance of health and wellness. You know, we did it 24 hours a day um, to make it a part of their life, but also, you know, the lessons we've learned about goal setting and, you know, grit, determination, but also teamwork and really creating a community that you're around. So, you know, our kids play, they've, they've dabbled in different uh, sports, but in the end, it's about finding their own passion mm -hmm. and supporting them because they're not us, yeah. you know? Do they like soccer? Uh, they do. <laughs> uh, they go to a lot of games. They're big fans of, yeah. uh, you know, we were part ownership of Angel City and LAFC, so we go to a lot of games. Okay. Mia, what an honor to talk to you. Thank you for what you're doing to bring awareness to GVHD as well, right? Yeah, and the website for more information is gvhdnow.com slash fans. Okay. Thank you so much for coming Thank in this you. morning. Appreciate it. Wishing you continued success with Thank everything you. you do.